In the foothills above Moss Landing on California's central coast, there are places where you can find yourself surrounded by fields of strawberries stretching as far as the eye can see. Literally, strawberry fields forever. The Watsonville area is one of the best areas to grow strawberries. We have the best climate for growing strawberries. We have a, basically, it's a eternal springtime weather condition here. My family's been in farming strawberries since 1952. We moved from Lodi to Watsonville to grow strawberries. This year we'll have approximately 183 acres. We grow four different varieties of strawberries. The main one is called Monterey. It was developed by the University of California, Davis. Strawberry grower Rich Uto has been farming strawberries here at Sakaki Hata Farms for nearly a decade. And like many farmers in the state, he's concerned about the efficient use of a dwindling supply of water. We irrigate, we, we use a drip line. We use a drip system. We have two line drips. They're, all, um, they're low flow drip tapes. The only time we use, actually use sprinkler pipes is in the beginning when we want to establish the plants. In addition to using modern irrigation methods, Forward-looking growers like Rich Uto are on the lookout for any new high-tech tools that might help them battle the drought. So today we went to a class, a uh, software class, in it's called Crop Manage through the UC Extension, it's developed by Michael Kahn. And then I just hit save. It's going to help us monitor our fertilizer use, monitor our water use. It keeps everybody in check. The program today is a training on using um, some online decision support software for scheduling irrigations and nitrogen fertilizer applications. By learning how to use this software, a grower could potentially reduce the amount of nitrogen fertilizer they're applying, thereby uh, reducing the amount of nitrate that would leach into groundwater and protect water supplies. And uh, also, they can apply water more judiciously uh, to meet the crop needs and optimize yields, but hopefully use a, a bit less water. The Crop Managed Software Project got its start with help from a grant from the California Department of Food and Agriculture's Fertilizer Research and Education Program. The state is also providing financial assistance to growers to install water systems that save water. The State Water Efficiency and Enhancement Program is funded by emergency drought legislation signed by Governor Brown. Sakaki Hata Farms are grateful recipients. This is a 10 cylinder from Hortel, and this was funded by uh, CDFA through the SWEET program. What it does is measures the soil moisture at 6 inches and at 12 inches. It runs off of a solar panel. We get it on our phone, meaning that when it's too dry, It'll tell us when it's too dry and it'll tell us when it's too wet. So I figured we save about a third of the water from applying the tensiometer. Tools like the crop managed software and tensiometers are giving growers more control over their crops and helping them respond more effectively to the one thing they can't control, the weather. Our season has gotten longer now because of no rain. We get started earlier. I mean, we just started picking in the first part of March about a month earlier, and uh, we can't tell the plants to stop. We just gotta do what we have to do. We have to deal with Mother Nature just like everybody else does, but we try to do the right thing.